So we're done with court. I'm back here at the Buena Vista Hotel. Here's the lawyer's car. He's in the room right now talking to my children because nobody in court, which I'll get the transcripts, nobody in court could figure out how to make an appointment unless I have a phone. Nobody can function unless someone has a phone in their hand. He was pissed because I can't get phone calls on my phone. And I said in court, well, I'm perplexed as to why social services won't inform anyone. My phone doesn't work properly. After the lawyer sat in there, she's denying me access to the kids, he tells the judge. I tried to call her twice yesterday. No, I'm not denying anything. You're right in the fucking room with them now in a motel room. Nope. I'm not. I'm my social services. What'd you do? Diane, when I mentioned to you when we left and I told you, why don't you people tell him I have a problem with my phone? And she says, I did. I spoke to him before. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what'd you tell him? The same crap you tell everyone else? That my phone works perfect and I'm just ignoring you guys? Is that, is that what you're telling him? So how convenient was it that one of my friends approached me after court because she was there for court too? And she says, Tammy, I can't get a hold of you. What's wrong with your phone? Huh? Assholes. Huh? Interesting. Why'd you peel out when you left here, Diane? You're fucking busted and you know it, you lying cunt. You're worse than Danielle Tracy because Danielle Tracy's just stupid with that Patrick star look on her face. You're a little smarter than her and you got that cute little people-pleasing smile on your face and you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing and you're fucking busted. I told you the whole time, I need back surgery. I could have had it already done by now. You people are denying people services is what's going on across the board. So if that's what the plan is, New York State, Delaware County, they're hardcore right on it. Hardcore. And as many people that are now missing in New York State, as many people, oh, there's that bitch that tried to get us in trouble, tried to tell me HUD was coming. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Supposedly my room wasn't clean. Here we go. We going? Good. That one apartment that I told you was in the No, and they it's don't in want. Four bedrooms. Diane, my caseworker, told me, no, we're not looking in Delhi. After I told her there's two apartments right here I can at least walk to to get to. Yeah. No. <clears throat> they tell you they can't find you an apartment, but then we, they had me all set up with that apartment on Circle Drive. And I said, no. Why there? You can't walk anywhere. So now they've traded. Now I have a new caseworker, uh -huh. and I met her yesterday. And she tells me, well, I live in Oneana. I have all these connections. I can help you get an apartment there. Why didn't, why didn't you people help me a year and a half ago when I told you I needed back surgery? So the, I got the kids in there now with their law guardian. I just got done with court today. Oh. And I'm telling social services, I guess you're going to have to take them. No, I can't take care of my kids when I need back surgery if you're not going to help me. I don't know what to tell you, social services. You better clean up your foster care system. Well, that's for sure. I, I went by there this morning because I wanted to see. And I said, because I, I, there's been cars there. So I stopped this time. And both sides are empty. The one side has the four bedrooms. I have no control over my life. They boss you around and tell you everything. If I went and tried to... Do you know why they don't want me at the shelter? One of the reasons? Yeah. Because when the toilet water went all over our clothes, I rinsed them out and I hung them on the railing out front. They had to run right down and tell me, we got a report that you had clothes hanging out front. Oh, but really? it's okay for them to get high and... There's know. evidence of laundry? My bad. 
one. This would be so perfect. Wouldn't it be nice if I could do the laundry in the shelter like we were? But when the toilet water went all over, it affected the electric. Yeah, so there's probably going to be a fire because the washer and dryer won't work now. So I had to rinse all those clothes out oh in places, the... These places would be perfect. The one on the left is perfect because I've already been in. And it's got a downstairs living room kitchen. Upstairs is four bedroom and a bath. It'd be great. Not an option for me. Assholes. I'll, I'll mention it again to her. Both sides are empty. Say my friend went there. They don't want me in Delhi. They're trying to put me in Sydney. And when I said no to Sydney, now they're trying to stick me in Oneana. And I have already called that Seago County. I called that Seago County to find out how do I transfer my HUD. And the guy that answered the phone tells me, there's no HUD. I'm like... Wait, is this is this opportunities for Otsego? He's like, yeah. I said, HUD Section Eight Housing, we don't have that here. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll call some. Is there somebody else I can talk to? Can you transfer me? So he transferred me to some lady, and she's like, oh yeah, I do this for Section Eight and that for Section Eight and whatever else. So when people are calling to try to get help, they're being told we don't even have that in Otsego County. So, you have a place you can get into. We know the guy who owns the place. It's a two-part They city. have control over all this. They act, listen to me. This is what happens. They all know the landlords. They've all had this job forever. I used to work for Delaware Opportunities. I know how this works. They just want to push you through the system. They just want to make you, they make you go all through with all these fucking hoops. And in the end, they already have it all mapped out what they're going to make you do anyway. It's just, it's just bullshit. But I was so excited. That's terrible. I went there, I stopped, and I was going to go in, slot, you know. Yeah, I asked the him. Door. And, I, and both sides, every, each side, empty. No curtains, no people. Every apartment I find, they tell me no. But then they find me bullshit. I think I'd have to file some kind of suit. I'm trying. You can't find it. I'm telling you. I don't know if it's like a New York State thing that they're just denying people services. They think they're going to do away with homeless by ignoring us. I know the immigrants are coming in hardcore. I don't know if they're trying to deny them services. I haven't seen it. It's not just Delaware County. This is across the board. They're doing this shit to people. Holy and I used to work for Delaware. This is what they do. They just like to have power and control over people's lives. And most of them yesterday were in my position. But now they have a job, so like, oh, we're so much better than you. Now we get to boss you around. It's how they are. I used to work there. You should see the way they talk about people behind their backs. You should look at my YouTube. I recorded it. When Warden came in <clears throat> in the vestibule and everybody's talking about all his private, private business in front of everybody, I didn't give a shit. They say, oh, no, cameras know this. Fuck you. What are you going to do, arrest me? Go ahead. I was so excited because I wasn't sure. And I said, because there's cars in front. They have, it doesn't matter what I do. They tell me no. And then they tell me, we have a better idea. Here you go. No, I'm not cooperating anymore. I'm done. You know, I'm not playing these games. You're not I my, don't live in all you're not my overlord. You're not my goddamn. I can go anywhere in the United States I want with us. Anywhere. I can go to Alaska. I can go to yeah. Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. As long as I can. Get, oh, here we go. I'm just up. So what's going on here now? Oh, that's just drugs. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's all. Isn't that great? They put me and my kids here. You know how they are so fucking busted. That shelter, the last time we were in there, that whole ceiling in the kitchen yeah. fell. It's flying all over the kitchen floor. If I didn't throw a fit and get out of there, that could have been me and my kids in that kitchen when that fell. But they want to say that we're here because I'm not doing anything. No, we're here because we're that house fell apart. Anything. That house fell apart. What house was that? The homeless shelter down there. Oh, I haven't not seen them. Only hear bad things. They have the new the new place they're building, and then they have the double wide they put in, and then that white house is the homeless shelter. That building that they're building. It's building. supposed to be the the women's and children's homeless shelter. Oh, it is. It's supposed to be. Somebody told me they're gonna put the uh, workers, the construction people, and all the you know, and I I'm like what they. 
The one is supposed to be for the men, the double wide, the shittier one. Yeah. And the one they're building now is supposed to be the homeless shelter for the women and the children. And in that men homeless shelter, they've got a, you can see it. When we were in the original one that's there now, we can look out the window and you can see in there. And they have one of those smart refrigerators with the ice maker in it. For the men's homeless shelter. Yeah. But oh. how long has it been there sitting empty? Did you really think they're going to put anybody in there? Oh. They're just putting stuff. They have my son, Nathan, who's an adult. Oh, on my case for public assistance on paperwork in there. He was never on my case. He's an adult. He's not one of my children. They have collected $100,000 in child support over the past three years and had me on public assistance lying to me about how much money they were getting. I have it in there with that lawyer and my kids right now. They're fucking busted. Oh my god. I'm so sorry because I was so excited because I said I'm getting out of the car. Because there's Thank you. Cars. I thank you. And there's one, I can try there's again. the other one is still for rent. The other one two houses down or whatever. It's for sale. Or no, it's sold. It might be a landlord that doesn't want to have rent to me. More people know who I am than anybody wants to admit. I go on, I go on YouTube, and I go on Facebook, and I rip these par people apart every time. If you look on my Facebook or my YouTube when I bitch about things, two weeks later they got it in the newspaper. Really? There's a guy in in Walton. His name is Dane. They are shitty to him. Horrible. They teach their kids to be horribly rotten to him. My kids don't participate in it, so I started hanging around Dane. And I told Diane, my caseworker, people around here are going to quit picking on people like this. Dane, Allison over there, it's over. Two weeks later in the newspaper, there's an article. There's a nuisance um, resident in Walton. We got to get rid of him. They put it in the newspaper. And I went on my Facebook and my YouTube and I said, I know exactly who you're talking about, Walton, and you're not doing anything with him. You better tell your kids to leave him the fuck alone. And Allison, like, that's a, that's a whole nother thing because that's something else. You know what I there mean? There was a woman just like her that lived in Walton. Her, uh, uh, not her whole life. She was from Utah for decades, for decades and decades. Rita. They called her Norman Bates. All the kids go around saying she killed her mother. She wears her mother's clothes. She just wants to be her mother. And where do they get all this from? Their parents. Adults would come to me and say this stuff. And I said, I know Rita. I help her and her sister Gail. That's not even true. Stop saying it. Stop telling your kids this shit. Oh my God. Well, sorry. No, thank you. I thank you, thank you, I thank you for looking. They're both still open, and I'm like, why? I, they them? might have them planned for somebody great. I don't know. Oh, bullshit. The I don't know. Guy works at, at two, no, around. social services might, not me. Oh, oh, oh. Social well, services has. Social services has control of everyone that goes in these apartments. Oh, they I call see. the landlord ahead of time. It's already done. So when they try to, they're like, well, we found this apartment. Call on it. So this is what I do when I call. Hey, this is Tammy Sanford. Social services called and you're expecting my call. And then they talk to me because it's already set up ahead of time. Oh, People are dumb. They think it doesn't work that way. This is how it works. They control your life. Way. It's always something. They oh, control I'm your sorry. life. I no, there. I thank you. I will try again. Please try again because I know that I want people in there. And that those the social services keeps telling this guy I'm not doing anything to try to find an apartment. That's they want to take my kids because I'm homeless. Well, I think I'm homeless because you, no matter what I do, you. T I'm homeless because of you. You want, I'm telling you, here's an apartment, here's an apartment, here's an apartment, and you won't, you won't help me. So it's redundant. And they won't even put it on their list. That I, I'm telling you about stuff, but then you won't write it down, and you're making it look like I'm not doing anything. So I put, every, I put everything in text. Anything I talk to these people, I'm putting all on YouTube. They're busted. You're not lying about me anymore. Not lying about me anymore. No, I'm covered. I have text and YouTube. They're busted. I can't. We'll have a party. I just got done telling my caseworker, you know what? I might not be able to do anything to help me and my kids, but I'm going to gut this county because you people aren't going to keep treating people like this. I'm telling you that right now. She peeled out when she left. <laughs>
She fucking knows. She yeah. busted. Well, good. I mean, if you keep at something long enough, I put on I put on my YouTube just yesterday. Hey, everybody that's had problems with social services, record them. Any contact you have with them from now on, social services or the police, you record them. And you know what you do? You put it on your YouTube. Contact me. We need a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, that's horrible. Class right. action. I don't care. I'm still looking. Thank you. Care. Thank you so much. You're hey, you have a great day. Yeah. Nice kids. Yeah. They really are. I, I mean, know. I, I, I talked to. I know they are. I talked to the Department of Social Services yesterday. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what this case was about. And I'm saying, those kids are really, really sweet kids. I go, wow, really? But yeah, yeah, really smart. They're, they're, they're well behaved. They're, they're polite. Mm -hmm. they're, yeah. They're going to be doing a disservice to those kids. They take them away from me. I need back surgery. My problem. I turned myself you into social it. services. I can't because I'm homeless. I told social services I need housing. I need some sort of a place to live where it's like a medical type thing and with my kids. And they've gone out. You got crap in there from uh, what I said that I can't function I don't know. without marijuana. I, do I just got to talk to my lawyer. I know you represent them. What do you mean medical I don't know. Some type of place to live where there is access to a medical service like a nursing service or someone that can help me and i need i'm going to need help with the kids this is going to be a year-long recovery oh, i turned myself into social services in attempt to get help with this they hit me with their car when i was five really? in sydney social services root them drum a cps worker oh, wow. All right.
Take care. Yes, you too. That he's going to apply for a court appointed attorney, although he makes $70 an hour. A court appointed attorney is for someone that can't afford it. And he'll get it. He won't have to pay for shit. Yeah. <laughs> nope, didn't say a word. Wouldn't even look at him. Yeah, he just totally ignored both of us. And I said, Joseph, there's your father. Continued to ignore him as soon as court was over. Right out the door. Not a word. Who? What did I just tell you? I know you can't wrap your mind around this. He didn't say a word. He did this at Joseph. But he's going to get a court-appointed attorney also. Oh, no, he said he doesn't need an attorney right now. But if he wants one, he'll get one later. He is your lawyer. He thinks that you guys need to speak out against me. He already went into court and was saying to the judge, she's denying me access to the kids. I called twice yesterday to make arrangements to speak to them this morning, and she won't allow it. And I said to the judge, my phone doesn't work. I'm perplexed as to why social services continues to not tell people about this. He said you guys were great kids, that he talked to social services and everyone over there told him what great kids you are. And I said to him, I know they are. Social services is going to be a great disservice to these kids if they take them from us. I know they are. He doesn't seem dumb or dumb. The only thing he has to go to a tree. The only thing he has to go to is that he talks and does this. Ooh, ooh. Because so he's trying to figure out the next question to ask you so he can get information out of you on me. Well, do you have to whatever you want. You can just text me. And he says that a million times. Like, he repeats what he says. Like, I know, because he thinks times. everyone <laughs> thinks there's this big thing going on. I'm so abusive to you. You need you need to be able to call 911 and get out and escape. Because there's something going on here. And his yeah, mom, you just keep his keys. 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 And the meekest thing you like it. No, I told Joseph, that's a tactic. That's yeah, what people know, do. Yeah. Grooming. I'm going to get kids candy and stuff. That's what they all do. Yeah, I knew it was. Yes. I think he's grooming. Really he might be. Is that one in red? Like, he's he's like, like, he was like, stop it. Stop it. And he, he might be. Like, he was just, and his ears are bigger than his like, head. He might be. When your ears are bigger, don't you want to scare me? All right. Men's ears are bigger. Did you see John, John Grace today? Yep. But he, he did nothing. Nothing. He didn't even say anything to Joe. Absolutely not. He didn't even say anything. Yeah. He walked in to the room. Me and Joseph were sitting here. He walked in. He sat over there, looked right at us, and stared straight ahead. And I said, Joseph, there's your father. And he turned and looked at us. And he might even have smiled at Joseph. I don't know, because I just turned away. Not a word. Not a word. Not one word. We go, he called into court. Court's over. Out the door as soon as, as, quick, as quick as he could. Not a word.
word said that. No, he didn't say a word. Don't make stuff up. I just told you what was said. And Jill's, he didn't say one word. He did this. He did this. Me and Joseph are sitting here. He walks in, he sits down, he glances over at us, and then just stares ahead again. Like we're invisible. Like we don't exist. Like he's been doing since I was pregnant when he took off. Like we don't exist. And I said, Joseph, there's your father. But then they're going to say how I prevent them from talking to you. Well, he had ample opportunity right then. I haven't prevented shit. He's an alcoholic and he's a liar. And their dad was on the, on the, video. On the phone. Yeah, because they didn't, they didn't even send him any of the paperwork. Neither of them two were required to be there until I threw a goddamn fit. Why am I the only one on the chopping block for this? Why can't they be there? They called Todd an hour before court and told him, you need to be here. What did he ask you guys? Oh, he, he never even asked us. said that we can just... Yeah. No, he's, he's telling us what well, he did. Well, I'm for you in court, and he, he told him to raise his... Uh, he, was telling him, he was telling us... He was also telling us... And then us he said that you can text me anytime you want. If you guys, like, need anything, do you guys, like, like have enough snacks and stuff, or do you guys, like, need a sock at all or something? Yeah. And he said that this might blow up, or that this might not well, take a meeting or something. And then he said, so, yeah, if you guys just... Yeah, yeah. Then he's like, my well, he said, he said, like, in the middle, like, he was, like, telling us what social service is going to do. He was saying to us how, you, he was, he was saying to us how you never took, like, the apartment and stuff. And he's told us what, everything social services has been saying. He was like, 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 he said, he was like, he said, um, this is what, he said, this is what they've been saying. I, I'm not sure if it's true or not. He said, I don't know if it's true or not. He like said that you never took a house in Hancock, Stanford. There was never one in Hancock. I know, I know. And I, was, I looked at this at him. That's when he said, I don't know if that's true or not. What'd you guys, you probably got made a look like, huh? Yeah, I did that. Hancock. Yeah. I was yeah. in my mind. Yeah, I, I was like, 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 oh, I don't I like, know if it's true or not. I was like, Sydney, yes, Stanford, yes, Hancock. Busted. Oh. Go, we need to start talking. And then they started saying how you're not giving us right um homeschool. So then he said that social services said that. You're not giving us the right teaching. Mm -hmm. He said if uh, if next uh, time we go to court that if uh, they like like do something, they could have a trial or something, and then um, if the trial goes bad, either they can uh, they're gonna say like if you don't find a house like, in like. Oh wait, before that he said uh, he was talking about circle drive. He said yeah, oh, that, there's a uh, thing. There's the circle drive. Yeah, there's a thing in Sydney, you guys don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he also, yeah, they, uh, he said, yeah, there's like, and then he said, why, why is your mom going to the movie theater? And I said, because it's like too far out of town, and uh, this other case that we had, they built that, maybe our mom's trying to pay for that if we like, if, if you're not on our ass, and, well, I didn't say on our ass, but like, if you're not on us and staying on shit, then they're going to get us, and he goes, oh, you don't have to worry about that. Don't he, listen to him. Yeah. He does not have authority. This is no. Do not listen to him. No, he cannot tell you that. Cause this is what happens if we don't listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, he said he is insane. Why does he think he has authority over them? Jeff, what did he say? And then he said, uh, Oh, do what you want, and then you can get in more said, trouble with he, social I services. Said, Dave Biddle was our own paperwork, and then I said if we go. If we go out on our own site, then they're going to take us. And then he said, oh, don't worry about that. Remember that? And then, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, also, yeah. And, then, said, uh, and then he said, that. well, you guys, couldn't you guys just, like, ride, like, bikes downtown to go get, like, some groceries or something? Said, and then Joe said, Joe home. said, we don't even have bikes. They're all in stores. And then he goes, well, they can just find you some. And then, no, they won't. He know. doesn't get this. He said, See what he thinks? He, he thinks that said, they're helping, and they don't. Said, Mom, he never said that. Wait until all these fuck. You know what I told him about that? Stuff. I mean, I, he said, I guess you guys can go find some. No, he said, they can just get you some. He they have go. all that shit. They have donations. Uh, tons and tons and tons of donations. They're keeping shoes? them. Yeah, and then he said, do you guys need uh, snacks and uh, shoes? Are you guys going to Do you guys have enough And clothes? then he said, yeah, do you guys have enough clothes? And then, but see all those questions, and then he's going to...
to write it down. They don't have this. They don't have this. She's not providing. She's well, we not said, providing. Yeah. We just said yeah. For we ain't asking them for shit. You want to bring some fucking snacks once in a while? Go ahead. We're not asking them. Yeah, you can feed me. As soon as you say you need help, then they say, busted. You need help, but you can't do it. I guess, no, I, guess bringing bringing those those I guess he's bringing those a sock. I guess he's bringing those a sock today. You said he felt bad. He said I feel bad for you guys. I also told said, him no, I turned myself in an effort to get help because I need a place where I can get medical support and support in raising my kids. I turned myself in a year ago, and the whole reason that I need back surgery is because they hit me with a car when I was five. Ruth M. Drum, a CPS worker. Hit me with her car. I turned myself in for health social services, and this is what I'm done. The fucking busted. I don't give a shit. I ain't worried about homeschool no more. If I have to touch, if I tell you to go do an assignment or something, I'm telling you right now, it's because you're getting on my fucking nerves and you need something to do that makes sense. You're getting held back a year. I don't care what anyone says. And we're going to move forward from there. All Joseph has to do is take an end of the year test from his last year and they can give him a test. Yeah. You know what I've already heard from other people? At Walton School, I just sent in an evaluation. They need to make him take the test. Yeah. So some people can skate by, but me, everyone's on my ass for everything. And you know what I've done while they're on my ass for everything? I've been right there every second, every second, every second. You're not going to trip me out anymore. Ain't gonna happen. Yeah, Mom, we were, um, in there Laser focus. I want money. Money. Money, 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 money. We should make it rain with these papers. Money. I told Diane when she when we. Came, I don't even know if you were still in the car or not, Joseph. Just let me say this and I'll let you speak. I know I interrupted you. I told Dan Diane. I may never be able to help me and my kids. You guys already got your, your got us in your system, raking us through the coals or however I worded it. I said, for example, with the lawyer today telling the judge that I'm denying rights to see my kids and I haven't denied anyone anything, but that's the way you guys will all put it off in court. Yeah. I said, you know what, Diane? I might not be able to help me and my kids, but I'm going to help somebody and I'm going to gut this county doing it. When she left, she peeled out. Yeah. It was a peel out me. She slammed on the gas and left quick to get the fuck away from me. They're busted and they know it. And I, that into, I have nothing to do and I said that. again to Diane, Tracy is a liar. And that's why I started keeping all of my text messages. And oh, I'm going to put on, I'm, t I'm telling everyone about Jessica Gilmore and my daughter, Brittany. Everyone. Everyone, Diane, I'm putting it on YouTube. Your foster care system is broke and busted, and it's over. She's their guy, starring, shining light of the foster care system. She's part of the goddamn problem with this whole terrorist bullshit with their painted fucking signs. Jesus loves it won't end. No, I'm just saying. No, you're the psycho. She looked me dead in the eye the one day, and she says, I could kill people. You know who she was talking to? Me. Just like John Jay in the car when he says, well, I'll throw somebody out on the side of the road. That was a threat to me because everyone thinks I'm a terrorist because he thought I had a gun or a knife. This is like a real thing that's really happening, even though they want to pretend it's not. They're all behind my, she's so dangerous. Well, Dave Biddle asked me questions about if I'm a terrorist. Why do you play stupid, Diane? Why is the security guard following me all over? Are you kidding me? I mean, they, we have knives. Just enough. Enough. You lied about everything. John Banks, you oh, you know what? I wouldn't even have been so pissed today if they didn't put that fucking shit in there. Keith yeah. Weaver. 
Um, were you meant to record this? This is recording. Oh, just erase it.